What's going on everyone, Snooploop7, back with another episode of Gaming Memories. The game you're seeing today is Pac-Man World 2 on the PlayStation 2. As you can tell, it's just a 3D, free-roaming Pac-Man game. And I've had this game for a long time, it's definitely one of the earliest PS2 games that I ever got. And if I remember correctly, my mom got it for me for Christmas one year, and not because I had asked for it or anything, but my mom was always getting some cheaper random games for us kids, probably from some kind of buy one get one free kind of deal during the holidays, because we would always get one uh, video game that we asked for, and then like one other just random game. And this was one of those random games. But another reason could be because on the N64 we had the game Miss Pac-Man, which was a ton of fun, we played that game a lot, so she probably figured that we'd like this game as well. And obviously, Mother's Know Best because it was an awesome game and I would have a lot of fun when I played it. It's got the same principles as the original Pac-Man game of having to eat all the pac dots, eat the ghosts when you turn them blue, try not to die, uh, eat all the fruits, you know, all that stuff. And I remember this game took quite a while to beat actually, but not because it was really difficult or anything, but just because of how many levels there were to complete. It was mostly me and my sister that were playing it, and there were four, uh, actually, excuse me, five bosses that you had to beat. The four ghosts, and then one other boss at the end. And before each boss battle, though, there was a bunch of levels you had to complete. And the individual levels were not short either, because we would try to collect as many items as we could. There was always a certain amount of pack dots and fruits and stuff that you had to eat. So we would try to get all of them. Obviously that didn't, that didn't happen in every level, but we would try and get as many as we could, and so doing that uh, made them take quite a while, which wasn't even a bad thing. It's actually something I enjoy, you know? It's not like uh, the Call of Duty games where in a few hours you can beat the campaign. In this game, even if you ran through all the levels as fast as you could, it would still take you longer than a game like Call of Duty. And we would always switch up who was playing every few levels or so, or if someone was struggling on a certain part, uh, you'd give up the controller to someone else, so that made it more enjoyable as well. Now, another part of this game that was a lot of fun, that we put a lot of time into, was the mini games that it has. Uh, it has things like Tetris, and right here what I'm going to show you is the original Pac-Man game which you could play. And it's just something that I find pretty cool that they'd put in the game. And this is something that I remember my mom would actually play as well, because she had grown up when Pac-Man was really popular. So for her to be able to play it again was fun to watch, especially because she would hold the analog stick in the same way that you would a joystick from like the arcade game. So instead of just moving it with her thumb, she would use all of her fingers to hold it. And this was really funny to watch to us, but she was also probably the best at it. She could pretty much destroy our scores anytime she played it. So perhaps her way of doing it was better. But anyways... Feel free to leave a comment below on any experiences you've had with any Pac-Man games. Uh, maybe you haven't played Pac-Man World 2, but if you have any experience with the original Pac-Man, maybe you have some beast score that you want to share, make sure to leave a comment. Also, don't forget to let me know what game you want to see me play next. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe, leave a like rating, and I'll see you next time. Peace.